from Worthy Nutrition and I am coming to you on this beautiful Friday day. It's very nice and sunny. I would have been outside but it was a little bit too windy for my eyeballs that always feel like they're chapped because I do have dry eye. So I have to kind of protect my eyeballs. So that's why I'm inside otherwise I would be outside in the beautiful weather. But there will be time for that. So favorite food Friday today we are going to talk about garlic. Mmm. Even when I say the word garlic, I'm just smelling it as I say it. And as I was reading all of my research and the different studies and stuff, I just kept, it was like I was almost uh, smelling garlic just from the thought of it. So that's how powerful garlic is. So it is of the onion or allium family. That means onion in some, in probably, no, I don't know if it's Latin or not. Um, the main use for garlic over history was for medicinal purposes, not for its pungent flavor that adds so much wonderful flavor to our meals. Um, but the Egyptians, Babylonians, the Greeks, Romans, and Chinese all used garlic uh, for medicinal purposes and was very helpful. So the health compound it's a sulfur compound is known as allicin and that's where we get that smell. So when we crush the garlic, when we chop the garlic, then that allicin comes out and it has a pungent aroma as I'm sure you all know. All right, so garlic has a large amount of manganese, B6 and C, which is good, selenium, fiber, calcium, copper, potassium, phosphorus, iron, B1, and even more trace elements besides the ones that I've listed off. So basically garlic has a little bit and sometimes a lot, depending on what it is, of everything that we need. That's why it's such a great thing to have in your diet. Okay, so what does garlic do for you? It boosts your immune system and that's this is the one that it's known for the most. So they had a study where they were given daily garlic uh, supplements, the partakers, and their, uh, the number of, re of colds that they caught that season, I think they did it for a season, were reduced by 63%. That's a lot. I am down for that. I'm gonna eat some more garlic. Also, they did another study um, where participants uh, were taking the garlic and when they got sick, they had um, reduced the number of days that they were sick by 61%. And this makes sense because there's so much C in garlic and vitamin C does the same thing. I just, that kind of clicked. It also lowers blood pressure. It's been very well known for that and improving cholesterol levels. So that helps with the whole heart deal. And antioxidants that fight against Alzheimer's and dementia and um, cancer. So very good on the antioxidant level. Um, and it's known for to be a longevity food just because it fights against infection, dis infectious diseases and the blood pressure and the cholesterol and all that stuff. And a lot of times, um, especially the elderly, will end up with uh, an infectious disease that uh, not an or infection that finishes them off so if they take garlic you know you can live longer hey cindy welcome glad you're here um what else uh i did read a study about helping with hair loss alopecia for men and women and i think that was it oh helps remove um, heavy metals. So they did a study on workers in a battery factory. Oh, and they took, I think they took supplements, gar garlic supplements daily, and the lead was 19% uh, lower in their system when they were tested from before. And um, it also reduced the symptoms of toxicity too. And that's very, very important. Okay, so the best way to eat garlic is raw, or at least chop or crush the garlic when raw, let it sit out, and then put it into whatever you're cooking. I make this 
awesome salad dressing. I just love it. And I, there's a clove of garlic in the salad dressing. And so I will take out the clove of garlic and that's kind of how I take off the skin is I crush the garlic. I just whack it with either like the side of a knife or the bottom of glass, a flat glass. And um, you know, the skin comes off really easy and it's been crushed. So the Allison is coming out and doing its thing. That's what gives the garlic its odor. And I let it sit for a while. I put the rest of the ingredients into my Vitamix and then add the garlic and whip it all up. And it's delicious, wonderful. And it's not too garlicky, garlicky either. It's I make a dressing for like, that lasts about three or four days, something like that. So it's kind of a lot. Hey, Mary Alice, welcome. Good to see you. So I think that's all I have regarding garlic for you. There are other things, um, you know, there are so many things. I did want to just kind of give a really quick story and it's not backed up by any research at all. I just want to let you know. But, you know, through my research and I read articles, there was this one article on like, I think the 11 ben benefits of garlic. And so I ended up reading some of the comments. And this one gentleman said that he had been dealing with a staph infection, an ear staph infection for six months and they couldn't get rid of it. And you know, they, they had given them the wrong antibiotics. So we ended up taking more antibiotics and then they finally gave him the right antibiotics and it still didn't get rid of it. And he goes, I am going to try this garlic thing. Let's do it. Oh, that's the other thing. I think um, Dr. Axe was talking about using garlic oil for, um, uh, ear infections. And so he, lo and behold, I kept reading and he entered a comment and like probably six months later and said after, and he kind of went through his story and how he, you know, uh, really wrestled with all of this stuff. And he said he finally did his own research on garlic and started taking garlic. I think he took supplements and he was eating garlic too. And he was also putting it in his ear after one week completely gone and this is the bad staph infection that just wouldn't leave at all so that's how powerful some of these foods can be and garlic especially alrighty so I just want to leave you with that wanted to let you know that um, uh, we're in the midst of my spring renewal detox but you can definitely join in we're still in the preparatory phase if you want to go for it we're actually not going to start the detox until Sunday come and join me. I mean, you get so much out of it. It's a great value. You have wonderful recipes and um, you just have the opportunity to definitely gain your energy back and feel your best, lose the pounds, all of that. So um, I will post some information down below and thanks for joining me and I will talk to you soon. Ciao for now.